That's the only way you're going to enjoy the gospel of Jesus Christ is when you live within his purpose. Yes. Psalms 105. This psalm is actually a part of Psalms 106. I don't have time to go through all of it today, but I wanted to I wanted to start with us thinking about how good God is. And at this book, particular time of David speaking here, he's he's calling a people to worship the Lord. And he starts out and he says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Now we could we could stop right there and and talk for two hours. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. What does that mean? Well, I think all of us here have something to thank God for. Amen. A lot of people wait for Thanksgiving to <laughs> have focus on thanks to God. But we as a believer, we do this every day. Yes. Give thanks unto the Lord. Why am I giving thanks to the Lord? Because he's been so good first Amen. by giving us a reason to give thanks. Now, if, if I ask any of you, just think back in the last week. What did God do for you? Amen. Amen. Just last. What did he do yesterday? I know some of it wasn't exciting. But the, but the ability to be able to get through one day, a 24-hour period, is something to be thankful for. Yes, it is. In this world we live in, life is fragile. Amen. You never know what's going to happen. And we have people that will testify to the fact that they were here yesterday and somebody else is testifying about them because they're gone tomorrow. So we have a reason to give thanks. And as David was calling people to worship, he starts out by saying, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. So he's just not asking people or telling people to give thanks. Make known his deeds. Testify of his goodness. Testify of his blessings. Testify of who he is. Testify of why he, who, why he does what he does. Testify about the Lord. Don't hesitate to talk about his goodness because his goodness is worthy to be talked about. Yeah. This is what worship is. Doing because God did. When God gave us his only begotten son, that was worth it all. Yes. That we might have eternal life. Yes. And without that, we have nothing. No. So we have a reason to testify of his goodness. We have a reason to thank God. We have a reason to worship God because he is God and God alone. And he loved us enough to give us a reason to breathe. He created us for a purpose. Are we living within this purpose? Amen. Amen. That's the real question. Are we living within this purpose? We have a lot of people who are walking around here, don't even know why they're here. But they're failing to question God as to what he wants them to do. Yes. 
And God has got questions. God has got, he's got work for us. Amen. That's why he's left us breathing. He has work for us. Are we ready to work for him? Because he's been that good that we could testify of his goodness. He's been that good that we could give thanks. We have to be willing Amen. to work for him. Amen. God has been faithful to us. Yes, he, has. he continues to be faithful yes, to us. He, he continues to love us. Even when we don't deserve it. Yes. He continues to love us. Amen. He says mercies are renewed every morning. On our behalf, his mercies are renewed every morning. He gives us mercy when he doesn't have to. Let's not take it for granted. Make known his deeds, as David would say, among the people. Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him. When last time you sung to the Lord? So we say, I did that when Molly was up here. <laughs> were you singing to the Lord or were you singing because Molly was leaving? It's okay to tell the truth. <laughs> Singing unto the Lord is uh, it, it, it's something that's worth it. God gives us a song. God gives us songs. He gives us a reason to sing. Everybody know can't sing. And, and please don't go to that. Well, I'll make a joke for no one. Yes. You can make your noise joyful. You can make your joy, your noise joyful. That's okay. That's okay. The Lord gets it. The Lord gets it. But David said, he says, sing unto the Lord. Amen. Sing unto the Lord. You find yourself singing usually when you are in a state of happiness. You find yourself singing, don't you? Mm -hmm. Most people. Talk back to me now. Yeah. Most, most yeah. people yeah. find yourself singing. Yeah. It's okay to say. Yes, it's okay. Uh, you find yourself singing, right? Yeah. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. But do you find yourself singing when you're in a hard place? No. No. <laughs> you don't. But see, this is this is this is when worship matters. When you're in a hard place and you can still be thankful, you can still sing unto the Lord. That's when it matters. It's easy to sing when you're happy. We all do it. Yes. But God wants us in a place where we can even sing when we're in a hard place. Remember when Peter was in jail? He was in a hard place. Shackle. Him and his partner, they were in a hard place. Having no reason at all to sing. No reason because they were put in prison for the sake of preaching the gospel. Amen. That would anger anybody. That would say, I have been working for the Lord and look where he's got me. In a hard place. But the Bible says that they began to sing songs. It's when they began to praise God and worship God that things began to happen. That's the power of praise. That's the power of thanksgiving. It works in the hard places. Exactly where the devil doesn't want you to do it. Amen. But that's where we do it. That's the difference between being a Christian and non-Christians. Christians know they can pray in the hard places. They know they can sing in the hard places. They know they can worship in the hard places because God is there. Yes, yes. In spite of what's going on around them, God is there. Yes, yes, yes. So God is trying to get us to know the power of worship. It's 
us in those places where we don't want to do anything. When we're too much into the problem. And God is saying, you shouldn't be in the problem. I've got the problem. I'm taking care of the problem. All you're called to do is worship me. Praise me. Give me thanks. And when you do, you find God working. Even in spite of the odds against you. So David is praying. He's saying, sing. Sing songs. Sing hymns. Yeah, we can do it when we are happy. But God wants us to be able to do it all the time. Amen. That's the difference that the world needs to see. That we have God on our side. And he's the one that makes the difference. He says, sing. Sing. Psalms. Talk ye of all of his wondrous works. Talk about his wondrous works. Yes. Testimonies make a difference. Yes. Tell people what God has done. Yes. Let them know that God did it. Mm -hmm. Man didn't do that, but God did it. Amen. He's a God that does wondrous works. If you haven't had any wonderful things happen to you lately, check yourself. <laughs> because God has been good to you. There's some things that you haven't even had to worry about. Because God has been taken care of. And if there are things you might be worried about, let it go because God will take care of it. He's a wonderful God. And he develops wonderful works among us. Small, big, it doesn't matter. They're all wonderful because God does it. The psalmist says, talk about his wonder works. Don't be ashamed to talk about how good God has been to you. No. no matter how young you are, how old you are, there's things that God has done in your life that you are worthy to talk about because God has done it. Yes. Yes. He does wonderful works. Yes. Amen. Even if it's just as mediocre as some child might think of making a B on a test. That's a wonder. Because it's not a D. We would rather have A's. But even then, being able to help, have God's help yes. is worthy to be yes. praised yes. and talk yes. about. Amen. Talk Amen. about God's work. Amen. No matter how little it is, how big it is, yes. talk about God's work. Yes. Let people know how good God is being. Amen. I was talking to a lady the other day. And I was just letting her know how good God had been in my life. And she was looking at me as I was trying to explain to her some of the things I went through with the cancer treatment. I said, God did that. Amen. As much as she tried to relegate it back to the doctors, I said, no, God did that. Amen. Amen. God did that. Amen. God did that. Yeah. I know who God is. I know he's a real doctor. Amen. And I stand here today because God did it. God does wonderful works. Yes. So I can't sing that well, but I'll give him a note or two. Yeah. <laughs> I'll yell something out. Yeah, yeah Lord! Yeah. Sometimes all you can do is say yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. That's all right. Do you understand? Yes! Yeah. God understands. Yes, he does. So I just let him know, Lord. I'm just glad you're there for me, Lord. I'm glad you did this for me, Lord. Because I know you didn't have to, but you did, yeah, Lord. Yes, yes. I didn't deserve it, Lord, but you did. Yes. Yes. I'm not even questioning why you do it, Lord, but I don't care. You did it, Lord. Yes. 
He continues to be good. Yes, he does. Even in the bad times, God is good. Yes, he is. That's who God, that's the God we serve. Yes, it is. Yes, Even in the bad times. He says in verse 3, glory in his holy name. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Glory in his name. Because there's power in his name. There's no power in Ron's name. I can say Ron all day long. That won't move me around. I can tell, do you know that guy, Ron? Oh, somebody might know him and someone would not know him, but that will not move anybody. But when I say Jesus, In the name of Jesus. Yes, amen. So we glory in that. Yeah. Remember the man that had the sick daughter. He really understood the power of the word. And he would come to Jesus, the centurion I speak of. And he would come to Jesus and ask for help. Understanding who Jesus really was. He asked him, would he come back? He asked him, no, he didn't ask him, would he come back? He just simply asked him, what did he tell him? I got a daughter that's near death. Mm -hmm. I got a daughter near death. And Jesus simply responds, well, let us go. Let us go that I might see her. And he stops Jesus. He says, no. You can just speak the word. Amen. Amen. You can just speak the word. Mm -hmm. See, this man understood. And I, I've said this before. He understood the book of Genesis. Yet he was living in the New Testament. Times. He understood what it said in Genesis when the word says in the beginning and Jesus was standing there and he's listening to him so you can just speak the word the centurion understood that the very word the matter of fact the very earth that he was standing on was spoken into existence Amen. He understood that type of power. So when he's talking to Jesus, he said, Jesus, you can just speak. The Bible says Jesus was kind of caught off guard. He stepped back and said, I don't see this much faith in all of Israel. That someone would say that. It marveled Jesus that somebody had caught it. And today, God still wants people to get it. Yes, yes. I speak and things happen. Yeah. There's power in my word. Yes. Amen. And it's a chance to know you can just speak the word and she'll be healed. God wants us to get it like that. That we believe every aspect of who he is. That, he, that we will believe. He's bigger than just a touch. Because he's God. All by himself. All by himself. Amen. He speaks and things happen. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's God. That's God. Amen. God alone. We have to we have to grab something tangible yeah. and try to make it work. Right. Mm -hmm. and the Lord just speaks yeah. and it does work. Right. Amen. That's why we serve God. Amen. Because he's a mighty God. Yeah. And that's nothing he can do for you. Right. Oh, that's nothing. There's nothing he can't do for you. Amen. 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 
Amen. Absolutely nothing. Amen. And I don't want you to leave here today with any doubt about who God is. Yes, yes. Because if God yes. can bring things into existence yes. by spoken yes. words, yes. He can change your life. Yes. He can change your situation. Yes. That's what God does. Yes. Oh God, that we would serve Him with all of our hearts. Yes, yes. It says in verse 4, I'm almost done. Mm. Seek the Lord. Yes. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. That's why we seek the Lord. Yes. God has given us an invitation to come to Him. God has given us an invitation yes, yes. to look for Him. Amen. God has given us an invitation yes, yes. to find Him out. Yes, He has. He's not waiting on us. He's asking us. He's telling us, matter of fact. Yes, He is. Come. Yes. And he's not hiding behind from some door somewhere. <laughs> this is not a hide and seek situation. <laughs> well, you gotta guess where he is. <laughs> oh no, you don't have to do that. Yeah. When you pursue God, yeah. you will find God. Yeah. Yes, he says, if you seek me right early, you will find, you will find me. Right. He's not lost. Right. He's not looking for people yeah. that's gonna take the invitation. Yes. He's standing out there. Yes. Up front. Right. In existence. Right. You won't miss him. Yeah. No, you won't miss him. Yeah. You know who he is when you walk right up to him. Right. That's how good God is. Right. He makes sure yeah. if you seek me, you're going to find me. Yeah. I'm not running anywhere. Yeah. I'm right here. Yeah. I'm right here. That's right. That's what God is. Right. He's right here. That's right. In the presence, he's right here. That's right. As a matter of fact, he's here with us today. That's right. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God is here with us today. Yes. Whatever you're going through, he says, seek me. Yes. Seek me. Come bring it to me. Yes. Bring it to me. I don't care where it is. Bring it. Bring it to me. Yeah. I can handle it. That's right. Sometimes the devil may make you feel like that. That's it. right. Yes. Oh, yes. Don't take that to God. Yes. That's God right. doesn't care about that. That's right. Nah, don't, don't take that to God. That's right. Don't believe that lie. Yes. God cares about every yes. fight yes. of your life. Yes. God cares about every care that you have. He says, cast all your cares on me. Yes. Because I care for you. Yes. Seek the Lord. Yes. Seek the Lord. Then he goes on to say, seek his strength. Yeah. Seek his strength. Yes. What is he saying? Ooh. He's saying, you need my strength. That's right. Your strength is not good enough. Yeah. Your strength is feeble. Yes, wow. it is. Your strength is not strength at all. That's right. You think it is, but it's not. <laughs> you need my strength. Sometimes we try to do things right. on our own. That's right. Yes. But we make a big mess of it. That's right. Because we can't have it. That's right. God says, ah, seek my strength. That's right. My strength is everlasting. Right. My strength works. Yes. My strength works when you don't think it is working. Amen. Seek my strength. Yeah. Seek my strength. That's right. And that's what God is saying. That is right. Wow. Oh, I can go on and on. Wow. He says, see his face mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. even more. Mm -hmm. Seek his face even more. Even more. Wow. Even more. You need a hunger for it. You need a hunger for yes, God. Yes, yes, yes. God wants to have a real appetite. There you go. I'm not talking about a burger and fries. I'm not talking about some snack. That's right. God wants us to have a real appetite from Him. Mm -hmm. Because it's within Him we find the fullness of joy, yes. the fullness of peace, yes. the fullness of love. Yes. Everything that we would ever need is found in Jesus. Amen. Found in Amen. Jesus. Amen. Oh, that we would seek the Lord. Oh, that we would seek the Lord. Give thanks. Yes. Testify of his goodness. Yes. Seek his face. Yes. Seek his strength. Yeah. Forevermore. Yeah. I pray today.
today that would be your choice. Yeah. Amen. As we come to a close. Yeah. I pray that that would be your choice. Yes. Amen. That no matter what you're dealing with. Yes. Yes. Be encouraged. Yes. God is faithful. And all he ever wants to do is help us. Yes. No matter what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Our young people, as she testified, they're dealing with so much. Mm -hmm. The hard times. Yeah. Oh, they're facing so much. Yeah. But let me tell you, young people, God. God got your answer. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. You see, God, God will take care of you. Yes. Yes. Don't allow peer pressure to pull you in. Yes. Yes. Be an influencer for God. Yes. Yes. That's what God is calling us to do. Amen. Be what we can for Him. Yes. Let's stand. Up.